Hey everybody, Tool Big here. I just want to talk about a brand new tool. It hasn't even come out yet. It's going to come out November 2016, and it's the Milwaukee Fuel Surge. You might have heard a little bit about it already, maybe not. What it is, is a hydraulic driver. Looks like an impact, doesn't it? Here's the regular fuel impact, there's the surge. They really look like the same tool. Well, there are some significant differences and they're important. It might be easy to just write it off as another driver, but the reason it's important is because impact drivers have become universal. All trades use them, plumbers, pipe fitters, carpenters, electricians, installers. I mean, HVAC, I cannot name a trade that doesn't benefit from an impact driver because it makes driving screws easy. You have a lot less cam out from the bit slipping on your fastener as compared to a regular driver drill. Uh, you have less strip screws. It's easier. You don't have to push as hard uh, to, to drive a big screw. So because of this, impact drivers are on every job site. You go to any job site, you're going to find impact drivers. They might be DeWalt, they might be Milwaukee, Makita, Bosch. Doesn't really matter. They're all loud. They're loud to probably around the range of 100, 103 decibels. And when you're talking about that much noise, this close to your ear, less than two feet, that's really going to stress your hearing. And it's going to cause you stress. It's going to cause hearing damage. And the higher the decibels, the less time we can work with a tool before we have hearing loss. And so I wanted to compare the new surge to traditional impact drivers today. Now, if you're looking at the specs on the surge, you might say, well, you know, it's quieter, but it looks like it's weak. It's only 450 inch pounds. It's not going to do the job. And to a certain extent, that might be true part of the time. But I'm going to look at this and try to fill you in on, on what Milwaukee did when they brought this to market. So take the regular uh, fuel one key or the generation two impact. We're talking about 1,900 inch-pounds maximum torque. Now, that torque happens every time the spinning hammer ha it has these little ears that stick out. And every time they contact the anvil, they knock this bit forward at 1,900 inch-pounds just for a split microsecond. I mean, it's just like that and it's done. Until it turns again and it hits the next ear. Now, that's high peak, but it's very short time period. Now, you take the surge, and they came up with 450 inch pounds, but the torque peak is much, much longer. It's like 10 or 20 times longer in time span. Even though it's lower peak torque, it's still going to do the work because it has that uh, torque peak for that uh, much longer interval. And so I'm just going to do a small demonstration here. Got the surge, treated lumber, four inch screws, and here's a competing impact from Makita. This is a few years old. It's a brushless, it's a top of the line driver, it's three speed, it's really powerful. But notice how the surge. You know, it's right in there with, with the power on these fasteners. Here we go. You've probably seen me do something like this before. Look at that. It's right in there in the same power range with a lot less noise. I'll do it again. Okay, did it sound like it was quiet? 
maybe not because this impact was working at the same time. I have right here a little electronic, um, it's an RTA and also an SPL meter. And I'm going to reset it to zero here. And I'll show you how loud these are. Now here is this Makita. I'm going to drive the same screw. 95. This is the fuel impact. 98.4. I have to reset it because the surge won't make it that high. Where's my screw? So now what do we have? 98.5. Listen to the surge. Eighty-four point two. I'll show you that. So that's a huge difference in sound output. I don't know how familiar you are with sound, but 10 decibels difference is twice as loud. So if you go from 80 to 90 decibels, it's twice as loud. And we just went from 84 to 98. That is significant. That's more than half the noise, or it's more than twice as much noise on the traditional impact drivers. I guess that's the surge, I'm sorry. I meant to grab that one. So this is more than twice as loud as the surge, is what I'm trying to say. And the surge does the same kind of work in the same amount of time. It's also, when you compare it to lesser impact drivers, these are, these are you know, high-speed brushless impact drivers. If you take it and put it against a smaller impact or maybe a brushed impact, this is actually going to be faster. So the benefits are there and you really don't see any problems. You don't really lose performance by going to a hydraulic driver. Now I'm going to go to a bigger screw. This is a six inch, this is a ledger lock type screw. So you might screw uh, laminated beams together with, or you might use it on decks, or you might, I mean, there's so many different uses for these large type fasteners. And you'd think, you know what? 450 inch pounds, it's not gonna do it. Look at that. There's nothing for this little tool. So even though it has less of a peak on the torque, that, that, that lower peak lasts longer before it drops off. And so it's able to do the same kind of work as an impact driver. Now, it's not going to do like big half inch thick lag bolts in, you know, six by sixes or eight by eights. But it's going to do these medium sized fasteners. Uh, it's going to do decking fasteners, it's going to do drywall screws, techs. It actually has a, a speed, a, a setting for tech screws. So like if you're doing roofing, it'll start that screw out faster and once it starts hammering, it'll slow down a little bit so you don't strip the heads off or spin the screws too far in. Very handy little feature. The balance of it, I mean it feels, I, I really can't feel the difference. I don't know which tool I'm picking up when I pick it up. It's like 2.1 pounds or something like that. And so it's, it's very lightweight. It's very balanced. It's a very similar size to the, to the fuel impact. If you can, I don't know if you can see, it's maybe a quarter, five sixteenths shorter than the regular fuel impact. So size wise, Performance wise, Milwaukee did the right thing. I really appreciate the direction they took. The rigid, what is it called? The stealth. Okay, that thing's got a lot of power. 
but it's huge. It is heavy. It's like twice the tool of it as this. It's not something that I want to have in my tool bag. It's not something that I'm going to buy and use to make a living. Um, the, the Ryobi, kind of the same thing. They, they actually even went longer than the Stealth. And yeah, they work. Yeah, they're quiet. But they're just too big and bulky and heavy. This thing is, is small. It's compact. It fits in your tool bag or it's easy to hang off your belt. It, it, it's just, it's like the perfect size. It's, it's what we're used to using if, if you're on the Milwaukee line. And so I appreciate what they did. Um, the benefits are incredible. We're talking about what, what did I come up with? Maybe 12 to 14 decibels quieter than a regular impact driver. That is, that's, that's just hard to put your finger on, on how important that is for us. Not only does it reduce our stress on the job site, it reduces stress among the workers that are around the person using the tool. It reduces stress with homeowners or if you're working in a hospital or a retirement home. There's just so many applications for the surge that I, I'm just so happy they brought it to market. And I, I hope that you guys are all able to try it out because I think it's going to make a, a big wave in the market. It's, it's the way that things are going in the future. Impact drivers are actually banned from a lot of job sites. And so the surge and other oil impulse drivers will be able to be used on these sites. And they'll increase our productivity, they'll reduce stress, they're gonna solve a lot of problems. And so kudos to Milwaukee for bringing it out. It's the catalog number 2760 and it's brushless. It's got three speeds plus the screw drive uh, setting. You've got not only less noise, but you've got less vibration. I didn't even talk about that. So I'm gonna switch tips again. And if you, if you, uh, if you could feel the difference, you'd be amazed. The shock that is transmitted through my arm, through my hands, even into my elbow, is drastically reduced. Milwaukee says it's three times less vibration. And I have no reason to doubt that. Because when you use an impact driver, that's a sharp metal on metal impact. It's, it's like if you take a hammer and you hit an anvil, that shock is going to just go up your arm. But if you take a dead blow hammer and you hit, you know, maybe a log or something, you're still going to feel it, but it's going to be muffled. It's, it's just going to be a lot softer uh, of a shock to your hand. And so that is one, another benefit of this wonderful tool. Um, I, if you guys like this video, please hit like. It helps me out. If you if you also subscribe, I'm going to do my best to bring you the you know the best for each tool, uh, the good and the bad for each tool. And uh, I appreciate you watching. And tool on.